what's up guys war here welcome back to the channel so we are a month into the brand new season with the uh gauntlet if you will right around the corner so what i decided to do is is we're going to make a series of tier lists and just talk about the classes in diablo 4 season 3. now we did i think we did preemptively have a list prior to season three starting but i think we all kind of knew what that list entailed so now after being inside the game for over a month or just yeah just over a month now we have multiple 100s it really sucks to delete these which really sucks i got my one rogue that i'm working on but it or like i need to make a seasonal one this is from last season but it really really sucks deleting level 100s let me tell you but um we're gonna break down just kind of my thoughts on the classes and builds this season maybe not builds but just classes in tier lists um going forward for this season now i do want to say before we get into this that this is solely my opinion okay this is solely my opinion this is all constructive criticism okay on the classes and just by pure power like i'm not gonna have a in-depth um guide or in-depth criteria that i'm really judging the classes on it's really going to come down to just my opinion and just kind of the utilization of these classes and how good they are the build diversity and just like how good these classes are after all of the changes all right so um i'm not going to break everything super down but i'm just going to kind of give you my thoughts i've played a uh, sork because uh, I'm a Sork main, obviously Rogue and Druid this season, and I'm having an absolute blast. Unfortunately, I'm probably not going to touch too much on Necro because I played a lot of Necro last season. Not a lot of changes ca uh, came, and we're going to talk about that when we get to it. And then, of course, Barbarian. I played the heck out of Barbarian last season, and I'm not playing this season at all, and we're getting into that in just a sec. So let's start with the classes, okay? I do have some examples up here for when we get to barbarian but as you can see from above the tier maker here it's pretty standard okay i will say that across the board just as like a default statement across the board pretty much every class is good all right every class is good every class is going to have you know at least one or two builds that are pretty strong definitely like most of the builds in the game can do all content which is super easy to do but when you're talking about like just pure power and how good these classes can be there's only one that truly stands out and there's one more that's a runner-up and everything else is just kind of just thrown in the middle so we're gonna go from least to worst and we'll just talk about it so least right now in the b tier is necromancer okay um, I want to talk about Necromancer really, really quick because Necro just seems to be, I, I don't know why it's not getting its flowers and I'm sure you guys can all agree. Oh, real quick, before I continue talking about Necro, when you guys do comment down in the comments, because I know you guys are pretty, pretty entrenched in your class beliefs and how good classes are, please, if you are going to comment, be all constructive criticism, okay? Don't just be like, yeah, that sucks. Oh, you're wrong. This, that. At least constructive criticism and feedback, okay? Do that. It makes for a much better conversation. And that way you don't actually look like an idiot. Okay, so to Necro. Necro did not get a lot of changes this season. There's a few changes, but I don't know why the Necromancer hasn't got its flowers. I don't get it. The head of D the Diablo 4 team, Mr. Rod, is a Necro main and i don't understand why the necro hasn't got his flowers this is the only class again season in and season out that has no minion build zero minion build doesn't make any sense the best class that it has is or best build that it has is bone spear okay there's still no movement for the necromancer it's incredibly slow and painful to play so infamous got nerfed into the ground so besides bone spear sprinkled in with bone spirit this season because bone spirit got a buff i still don't understand why necro has not got a huge buff in minions everybody wants necro minions and it doesn't make sense so i hope that in the future they give necro some added movement and make minions super super good okay so else standing in the b tier there's not really any we're going to go to a tier the first one is druid druid this season surprisingly guys has been super fun lightning storm with the huge buffs that it got are is incredibly fun it's incredibly powerful the movement is a little bit wishy-washy because you you know the movement is really different it doesn't feel as good as like let's say shred which is super powerful tornadoes which is super powerful 
pulverized, which is super powerful. I've said this season in the season out that Druid is one of the top two classes that has the most bot build diversity in the game within its own class. There's so many different builds that you can do with this class, which is really good. I got a huge buff to not only companions, but uh, what is it? Um, uh, rabies which both are super good for leveling uh with the druid when you're like you know up to like 65 70 then you start transitioning to your end game builds but druid by far is super powerful okay it's a super super solid build druid season in and season out seems to be very very good the only negative to druid in my opinion is probably just it's slow it's just a slow build slow class it just doesn't really have a whole lot of movement but you do, I mean, besides Trample, but you do get a lot of Unstoppable, which makes uh, the build feel really, really good. So, Druid A tier is still super, super strong. Next, joining the Druid in A tier, of course, is the Sorcerer, hence being a Sork main. I play Sork every single season, and this build still holds up. Now, I've said this since preseason and early access that... The Sork is, it's one of the two with Druid to have the most build diversity in all of the classes. There's way too many different builds that you can do, and they're all super powerful. Sork is probably the most consistent class in the game across all everything. Defense, offense, survivability, movement. It has the best movement skill in the game with teleport. All the builds are incredibly powerful, but they're all, like, none of the builds for Sork are going to be, like, S -S, s s s s tier you know like none of the builds for sork are going to be doing billions of damage or 500 million damage like none of them are going to do it but all of the builds across the board can do all content all end game everything it's just probably the most consistent class and one of the easiest classes to play and i just really enjoy it with all the different elements so again sork has excellent movement has great strong powerful builds across the board there's definitely more than most classes druid is the only one that i can compare it to but Sork is super, super strong, and I really enjoy it. The biggest problem with Sork, I would probably say, is just... Um, God, I can't think of any. They're all so good. They're all so good. Even the basic attack skills are good, which is another reason why Druid is so good. I mean, these two classes are the only ones with basic attack skills that can rival just other normal core or, like, mastery-type skills of other classes. So, yeah. No bad things to say about Sork. If I can think of something, maybe I'll add it in the comments in the YouTube channel. Okay. But yeah, A tier for Sork. Now, we got this. This is going to be uh, this is going to be Thor. Okay. This is going to be like Thor, right? This is going to be like your Hulk. Okay. This is going to be your Thor type Hulk stuff. And then we got big bad Thanos. So our, our Thor Hulk class, which is going to be our S tier, we got Rogue. The biggest reason that Rogue is even in this is because of the power that Rogue can do. Shout out to Rob and then his buddy over here, um, uh, M1PY. Uh, half a billion damage, which MP, er, excuse me, M1PY has actually got the penetrating shot build of Rogue to one billion damage. Eclipse that one billion damage mark, but Rogue is incredibly powerful this season. Again, although a slight nerf to Twisting Blades, Twisting Blades is still really, really good. Penetrating shots hitting over for a billion. Um, you got insane speed and movement. The survivability is what it lacks in for sure, but you make it up in dodge. I just wish that Rogue had more build diversity. It's really just like penetrating shot and twisting blades. I don't. I mean, maybe maybe I'm just like narrow minded when it comes to Rogue. I I was a demon hunter like main with my wizard in Diablo three, and it's just like. Demon Hunter had so many different, like six or seven different builds that were just all super strong. And you get to Diablo 4 with Rogue, and it's just like, it's Twisting Blades, now Penetrating Shot. If you're not playing one of those two, you're kind of just like behind. So like, but besides that, because the build can do so much damage and Penetrating Shot finally is super comfortable. It flows very, very easy with the changes to the uniques uh, for those builds. Penetrating Shot is actually really satisfying to play. And of course, we all know Twisting Blades is insane. So Rogue needs a bit better survivability, but he's kind of like a glass cannon and just needs like, the devs just need to make Rogue just like buff other things like buff Flurry. Like Flurry's so good. Get rid of Barrage and give us multi-shot for Christ's sake. Get rid of Barrage, give us multi-shot and just be done with it and Rogue will be at the top. It'll be fantastic, okay? 
But Rogue just needs some better in other builds that are just really, really good. Twisting Blades and Penshot is about it. Now let's get into what everybody is ready for, and that is our Thanos Barbarian. Barbarian, best class in the game, hands down, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay, there's a few different reasons for this, even coming from last season. Now, preseason as well as season one, Barbarian got nerfed incredibly hard. And even after the changes to um, Hoda, we're still hitting for a billion. Again, Charge is hitting for 77 million. There's It probably even hits for more than that. So like Barbarian by far is the best class in the game. It is still at the top of absolutely everything. Speed content, survivability because they're so tanky. And just by sheer damage output, there's no class that does it better. And even to prove this more, that Barbarian was by far by a landslide, the best class from last season as well as, I mean, Ball Lightning Sork rivaled it, but when it came to the Abattoir of Zir, Barbarian just increased that gap from Ball Lightning. It wasn't even close. So Barbarians are incredibly powerful this season. They have everything. They have the damage, they have their survivability, they have the power, and that's across any build that they can make. The only negatives to the barb is that leveling is in, you know, a little bit slow. You're a slower character until you start really utilizing your shouts. And then you're kind of stuck again, being forced to use the shouts. All right, that's still with a lot of the builds. I wish there was a way to not do this for Barbarian, but the class is just too good. It's too insane, it's too powerful. I have members in my community that started barb this season, and now they're like to the point where they're gonna play another class, but they can't because the sheer damage decrease. And I mean, it's not even close. I mean, when I said that there's a billion damage for Rogue, that's with a very particular boss build and a very particular set of rotational skills to reach those numbers. Okay, without that, you're like hitting, like the most I hit with just normal pen shot going through the rotation is 50 million, which is still pretty good. But even then, it doesn't even rival Barbarian when you, they're hitting on average for 1 billion damage, 77 million on average with charge, it's no big deal. Like it's not even close. It's a landslide. And I know that the devs have a huge issue with balancing. I don't, and this is again, chat or people watching on the video. This is with another nerf to Hoda this season. This is with another nerf. We're still hitting for a billion damage. So I don't know how we're gonna like close the gap to a degree with Barbarian in the other four classes, but unless they do some heavy nerfs, which basically will end up just taking Barbarian out of the equation, Barbarian is probably gonna be the best class in the game for a long time. So yeah, this is my tier list one month after season three has started. Uh, I'm very, very excited about the list. I think it's pretty accurate. I don't think a lot of you are gonna disagree with me, but like the video, comment down below. Remember constructive criticism. You let me know where this stuff falls. If you guys would like any changes, where would you put certain classes, et cetera, let me know, but be constructive. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, stay gaming and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.